Right, before I start this video, my friends, please listen very carefully to what I have to say. Do not fast forward this video at all. It's detrimental to our future and our freedom of movement because the video that you are about to see is a real life analysis of what it's like to own an electric car. It's not dramatised, it's not fictional and it's not made up. It's me making a journey from Wales to Leeds and trying to get back home for Christmas. Now, on the television, in magazines, in newspapers and on the radio, you will see that we're having EVs and electric cars shoved down our throats, literally pushed upon us. And we're being brainwashed into the fact that electric cars are the future, when clearly I can see they are not. You'll see TV commercials with families with beach balls under their arms, running smiling happily, running to their car that's fully charged that they've just took off the wall uh, at their house. And you'll see little fluffy bunny rabbits bouncing over the road, etc., with the silence of the electric car wafting by. But the truth is far from that, and I can tell you from my experience of owning an electric car. Now, how can we put a stop to this? How can we put a stop to this complete madness of having EVs pushed down our throats when they are clearly not fit for purpose? Well, I have an electric car and I can keep making videos about them until I'm blue in the face. But unless you watch them, unless you share them, like them and comment on them, then it makes no difference. These videos will not be seen by anybody. They're doing fairly well at the moment, but still we've got a long way to go to put a stop and an end to this absurd nonsense of having electric cars pushed down our throats. So I ask you to do me a favour and it will not cost you a penny. Share this video on social media. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up. That pushes YouTube's algorithms out there to push this video further. Put it on your Facebook, tweet it out there or exit or whatever it's called these days. Also, do me a favour and hit the subscribe button. The subscribe button is down there. If you subscribe to this channel through this video, YouTube will see that and see it as a positive and push this video again out to social media and out to the world. So please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you make comments on it. So enjoy the video, sit back, and you'll see the true reality of what it's like to own an electric car. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and make sure that you comment. Now, sit back and enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Oh, it's not like we uh, orchestrated that uh, no, walk didn't. in there, did we? It was the crossover. Yeah, the crossover. Just shop your car around, put it on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's what a journey that was. It was a pretty good one, that. Yeah, yeah. lowest off to uh, Wales here. You don't even know where we are, do you? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> St David's, lowest off to St David's, St. Four, David's. 400 miles. 400 miles. I've got my shadow in your face there. Yeah. There you go. Can't see a thing. I'm... <laughs> we'll roll with it. We'll roll with if it. If you want to find out the figures, by the way, of how much it all costs, go over to Jeff's channel. It'll already be up by the time this video's out, and he'll tell you exactly how much it's cost. But there's not really any secret, because it might cost me more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So once again... Uh, what have we learned? What we've learned? We've learned that the diesel car was two hours faster, and you spent more money to be two hours late. And now I've got to get from here in St. David's, the smallest city in the UK, I've got to get up to Mansfield and then up to Leeds. Now, when we're filming this, it's the Friday before Christmas, which is really, really busy. Everybody's on the roads. I just want to get back. Now, time-wise, to get me back to Mansfield, this is before I get to Leeds. It's now 10.23 in the morning. It's going to take me five and a half hours, five hours, 29 minutes to get to Mansfield. But that's not true because it's an electric car. It's actually going to take me longer than that. You've got to add at least another two charges onto that. Now, I'm not fully charged. Fully charged. Three. Hey, fully charged. Hilarious. And that's because, and I know you're going to get everybody say, oh, you should have charged overnight while you was at the hotel. Couldn't do that. Not many charges around in Wales. Where, where is your nearest charger to here? Uh, the nearest charger to here is about seven or eight miles away. So what we should have done is, well, I think you'll find you. You should have plugged it in there and got the taxi to your hotel. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pick you up, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got five hours, five and a half hours to get to Mansfield. Then I've got to get to Leeds. 
I'm gonna to have to do probably three charges to get up to Leeds, so it's an absolute nightmare. I'm gonna take you guys with me. What have you got to do to get back? Well, I spent four minutes putting diesel in in Lowestoft 400 miles ago, and I've got enough diesel in my car to get the 160 miles home. Oh, that's it? So yeah, I've just got to get in it, turn the key and drive home. Right, well, I've got an absolute nightmare journey, so you're gonna you're gonna come <laughs> with me and see exactly what a nightmare it's gonna be. The nightmare, before, Before Christmas. Christmas! I see what you <laughs> did there! You see what I did there? I'm looking forward to watching your Nightmare Before Christmas video because yeah. I predict by midnight tonight you're not going to be home and you're going to be crying. I, I've got to get to Leeds as well and I was supposed to get to Leeds for three o'clock this afternoon. That's not going to happen. Do you want to borrow the BMW? Yeah, I'll take the BMW. <laughs> you take the Taycan. <laughs> it should be called Taycans. Taycans, yeah. <laughs> So Excellent. I've got to get charged to start with and at the moment I think I've only got I think about 70 miles of range left um, so what I'm planning on doing is stopping along the way somewhere because because as a, as a guy I still haven't got any Christmas presents so obviously because we're blokes and the only reason I've got Christmas presents is because I arrived at half past four yesterday and the shops closed at five so I had time to do my Christmas shopping in St. David's. Right. Well, I'm gonna... still waiting for you for an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do mine while I'm waiting for it to charge. Could always be charging. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're one of Lee's relatives and you wanted presents from a retail park that included a pound land, you're in luck. <laughs> <laughs> so join me, join me, join me on, join me on the journey up to Leeds via Mansfield or Nottingham if you want to know where it is. I always say Nottingham, nobody knows where Mansfield is. No, I know where Mansfield no, is. But you know where Nottingham is. Yeah. So exactly. join me on the journey through to Mansfield, Nottingham slash Nottingham, then up to Leeds and join me in the nightmare before Christmas. The EV nightmare before Christmas. And after you've watched Lee's video on his Nightmare Before Christmas, if you'd like to watch a relaxing drive through Wales as I work my way home to the pub to get there for three o'clock when the schools are finished and all the parents are in our nice little local pub at the same time and I arrive perfectly on time and relaxed, if you'd like to watch that video, head over to my channel because <laughs> it'll be a completely different experience. <laughs> More relaxing. <laughs> More relaxing music. Yeah, exactly. Like mine's like all tensed up and. <laughs> did, 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 did. Right, and anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Do hit the subscribe button. It pushes this content out to YouTube, showing people how naff electric cars really are. <laughs> what are they? Well, it's just the truth, isn't it? They just um, <laughs> they're, they're, they're they're great for short journeys if you don't really want to go anywhere and your journey isn't important the channels that show you the truth about electric cars in our opinion uh, <laughs> you go. they work for some people in some scenarios but that is not 95 percent of the population you might as well just get a mobility scooter well that's what somebody said in my comments this morning they said you're not a proper driver that's why you have an ev and you're one step closer to a mobility scooter <laughs> Still be doing these challenges when we're old, aren't we? <laughs> in a mobility scooter, and you're doing it in a vroom, go kart. <laughs> yeah, lawnmower. <laughs> we should do that, lawnmower, lawnmower. lawnmower versus mobility scooter. <laughs> <laughs> now, on that bombshell, my friends, without further ado, well, you're not, you're not going yet. No, I'm going to chill out for a little bit, and then I'll still overtake you. Yeah, so, without further ado, <laughs> let's go. Let's run to the cars, are you ready? <laughs> you want stupid shorts? Yeah. Okay, go. Right, okay, so we've got 31% of battery, 68 miles of range, 281 miles, oh my word, this is gonna take a long time. 281 miles to go, five hours and 30 minutes, and it's saying arrival time in Mansfield, two minutes past four, uh, which we know is not gonna be right because I've got to charge up. Um, and then I've got to charge up and then get to Leeds. So this really is gonna be the EV nightmare before Christmas. Wow, that sun's bright. Come on, onwards my friends. I'm boom, boom, there's a knock at the door. 
door But don't freeze in your tracks It's the chance that you've been waiting for It's the light coming through the cracks So the uh, oops, we're saying the road. So the problem with Wales is, it's pretty much a charging desert. I have to say, Scotland really good. Wales terrible for chargers. Um, I can see on here where all the chargers are and all the charge points are, and there it's miles before another one. It's absolute madness. They literally just spread out, whereas normally they're quite close together. But Wales no, just dotted around. It seems like Wales are just not interested in EVs whatsoever. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And it makes you feel uneasy driving an electric car in Wales. Anyway, we need to find somewhere. I'm sure we'll find one. I can see one here down at the bottom. It looks as though it's about 20 miles away. So we'll give it a shot. On my screen here, in front of me, it shows me where all the charge points are and I can also see a line, like a blue line, of the maximum distance I can get before my car runs out of charge. And it is fairly close, there's two charge points uh, that I can get to. So if one isn't working, the other one is right on the edge of the blue line of where I run out of charge basically, and that's right near the sea um because it's, it's bringing me sort of like south to go east so i'm hoping uh that there's another charger in the next town i get to as well as the ones that are shown on here but it's going to be fingers crossed and and as my dad used to say nipping i'm going to be nipping buttons off the seat um so there we go if you know what that means never i'd never heard of that some of dad mentioned that right where are we going here a487 that's it okay i mean why has wales not got any more charge points it's just crazy there's if they if they had as many charge points as they had speed cameras then it'd be absolutely fine Honestly, Wales is a nightmare to drive in. Don't, don't come to Wales and visit because you go 20 mile an hour and it's speed camera, speed camera. It's just full of cameras. It's not fun to drive in Wales at all. And it's a shame because it's an absolutely gorgeous country. It really is amazing. But it's been ruined by that pillock. What was his name? And he's gone now. Mark Drakeford, is it, or whatever? He's gone. He's left the place and he's like, oh, there you go, just 20 mile an hour, see ya. Absolute pillock, in my, in my opinion. Uh, but there you go. And I've spoken to people from Wales and they all hate and dislike the 20 mile an hour speed limit. Now there's a little here. Surely there should be some charges around here. Can I see any charge points? Can't see any charge points. We're gonna have to have a look. Keep an eye out for me.
Right, okay, so what I've done is I've actually asked uh, Porsche where there is a charging station. That's saying it's quite a way away. Um, I've had a look on Waze here as well, and they're saying there's an Instavolt one uh, at McDonald's. It is 1.5 miles out of my way. So I'm now going out of my way to charge so I can get to my destination, basically. So it's not like as if you just pull up at the side of the road to a filling station, fill up, four minutes and go. I'm now going to a McDonald's. We're in actual fact, I'll probably buy a coffee because I need to do something or I might as well have a coffee while I'm waiting. So that'll be about 40 minutes to charge up. It's Instavolt, it'll be expensive. It'll be probably, I would say, around about 50 pounds or something, maybe more 50 pounds plus to put probably 160 miles range in my car. So basically, it's costing an absolute fortune to run an electric car. All these people who say After electric cars are cheaper to run haven't got an, a clue at all. They're literally just charging from home with Octopus Energy or whatever. And that's fine if you pootle into the shops. But if you're out on a long journey like this, or any journey, it's costing you more money and also costing you time. Oh, here we go, McDonald's there. Because I'm now going out of my way and hopefully nobody's on them. Because if they are, then I'm going to be waiting around even longer. And I'm going to have to wait around for it because the other one is miles away. It's about 20 miles away or something. So I've got no choice. I'm going to have to go here, charge up, fingers crossed for me that, uh, how do we get into McDonald's here? There we go, fingers crossed that it's not being used. It's open road, it's open road, it's open road. Right, we're in luck, however, I'm gonna have to reverse in and hopefully the charger will fit and reach because my fast charging point is on the left hand side so let's reverse back as far as i can without hitting that curb here we go come on we're there i think that should just about do it I don't want to damage the batteries underneath the car right okay so it's 11.04 48 miles of range left um so that uh, it's good, so let's see how long it's going to take. So 11.04, 48 miles of range and 23, 22% of battery now. So milk float off and let's go and charge up. Right, come on, let's do this. Right, hopefully this is going to reach. So I think what we need to do first is you've got to do a card acquisition with these. They need to take money off your card before you even start. I've said this before, so even if you want to put £10 in, you've literally got to give them some money first. More than 10 quid. There we go. Card acquisition. How much is it taking off me? Come on, tell me how much it's taking off me. How much are you ripping me off, Instaval? Come on. Please wait. Uh, it's going to take £45 off me. OK, I'll continue. 45 quid before I start as an acquisition on the card. There we go, Revolut, spent 45 quid. Right, now I choose which charger I want. So I'm choosing which charger I want. Come on, CCX. OK. Right, plug it into your car. Hopefully it will reach. Here we go. It's a bit... It's a bit heavy. Put this in. Right, now we put it in the car. Hopefully, there we go. Slot that in. 45 quid before we start. Instavolt, bloody neck. You should have some Vaseline on the side, shouldn't you, really? Right, this is now where you start to clench your cheeks a little bit because is it going to work? And if it doesn't work, then I've got to go around to another charger and it'll take another 45 pounds off of you. Now it will give you that £45 back within seven days but it takes it off you to start with. Right it is working so charge in progress we're at 
and output power 62.54, 62.55. Unit price is 85 pence per kilowatt. Ouch! At least Dick Turpin wore a mask. Good grief! I mean, why don't I just why don't I just bend over and you just stick the plug up my backside? That's absolutely taking the mick. 85 pence a kilowatt Instavolt. Shame on you, Instavolt. Right, well, I might as well go and spend some more money in McDonald's now and have a coffee while we're waiting. So we're wasting time, but it's costing more money as well. So who thought that these electric cars were a bright idea? What a complete, ridiculous, pathetic, stupid idea electric cars really are. If you are thinking of getting an electric car, let this be a lesson to you. Do not buy an electric car. It's a nightmare. Right, so I'm going to nip into McDonald's, get myself a coffee while that's charging. Probably going to be, I guess, about half an hour to 40 minutes. So let's go and spend some more money on a coffee. Across the river and there's a woman I know. Sometimes I go there and I knock on a door. I say, baby, 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 let's waste some time. Right, that's 59 pounds and 33 pence to charge my car. Uh, started at 11.07, finished at 11.57. So 50 minutes wasted of my time, if you put a value onto that, plus the cost of the charging 59.33. And electric cars are supposed to be cheaper. Well, I think I've just proven that is a lie, my friends. Let's get this thing unplugged. Jeff has just uh, messaged me took about four minutes to fill his tank up and he's on his way cost an absolute fortune this and he's doing it for way way cheaper I think the thing is get a diesel which if you remember is what Gordon Brown and Tony Blair told us to do years ago because they said it was better for the environment and now they're telling us electric cars are better for the environment what are they taking us for Fools! Anyway, let's get back on the road. Come on. Oh, right. Okay, so that's time wasted. Unbelievable. Really. Now, five out. Okay, so two, 223 miles of range, 100% of battery. Um, and it now says we're going to get, we've got 270 miles to our destination back to Mansfield before I get to Leeds. That's five hours and seven minutes. So I'm gonna have to do another charge as well on top of what we've just done. Absolute madness. So 50 minutes, uh, it's actually gonna take even more time. So you're gonna be looking at probably over an hour wasted to charge your car. It's just, it's, 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 it's ma as my mum would have said, it's beyond the joke, she used to say. It's beyond the joke. Right, I need to get out of here. Right, come on, onwards. Right, got Jeff Bice calls on the phone. Jeff, hello. All right, mate. Have you, uh, have you filled your tank up with diesel? I have, yeah, yeah, took me ages, it did. Did it? What? Well, how long did it take you? Three minutes. Three minutes? Wow, I can beat yeah. you. I can beat you. Well, then how long did it take you? 50 minutes. 50 minutes? 50 so minutes. How many miles did you add? Added about uh, just less than 200, I think. 190 miles less or something. Than 200. Yeah, but it was quite cheap. I think it was 57 quid or something around, around about there. So you just paid 57 quid for just under 200 miles. Yeah, it's cheap, that's it? 
crikey, man. This is not the future. <laughs> I just paid no, 93 pounds I put in to top off the tank completely. Uh, and that is saying I'm going to do 570 miles. Wow. That's mad. I might not even make it to Leeds tonight now because it's going to be seven o'clock ish, six o'clock ish before I get there to Mansfield. Then I've got to get to Leeds. So now I'm thinking maybe I just sack it off. Obviously, then my girlfriend will ditch me uh, because I've ditched her just before Christmas uh, because I can't, can't get back because I've got to charge my car. So basically, if you buy an electric car, you'll lose your family, lose your livelihood, and that's it. It'll be the end of your life. Should have bought a Tesla. Should, unless you bought a Tesla, yeah, should have bought a Tesla. In which case, well, the same thing would happen. What you what you need is you need you need a backup car for situations like this. Like you, and this is the thing. This is where this is the conclusion that I'm getting to. What you need is you need an electric car, and then you need a normal car that works for when you want to go somewhere. And then from an environmental point of view, you're not saving the planet at all because you own two cars, so twice as much materials. Or just get a diesel car, keep it, run it into the ground. That's saving the environment. Bob's your uncle. One car to rule them all. That's it. In fact, I don't know whether it was a dream or not, but I'm sure I had this dream that Gordon Brown and Tony Blair told us that diesel was good for the environment. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's almost like Tony Blair was an out and out liar. Tony Blair. Oh, Blair. Sorry, Blair. Tony Blair. <laughs> It, it, unless he was actually telling the truth and then they just changed it round to well electric now they're telling us electric's the future and it's better for the environment but that is the truth because Absolutely. yeah they're telling the truth they always tell the truth yeah outside oh, you done a warning check brake lights my brake lights have, one of my brake lights has just failed oh one of your brake lights has just failed that's all right your indicators normally fail on a bmw ah i'll tell you what though Jokes joke aside though, one of my brake lights has just failed, so a warning has popped up. So when I get back, what I'll do is I'll pop the trim off on the inside and I'll replace the brake light. It'll probably take me 20 minutes. I bet it's not 20 minutes to change the brake light on your car. It won't be, I think you have to take it into Porsche to actually have the brake yeah. light changed. Yeah, that's probably 400 quid. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, just the future is <laughs> We've said it before and I keep saying it. The future is <laughs> I'm beeping that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> We're about starting now. Oh, I'm still in Haverford West or whatever. I, I've, I literally got three miles down the road uh, to McDonald's or wherever, or six miles down the road, and then I had to charge up, so I wasted 50 minutes. You've wasted 50 minutes in McDonald's. In the time that you've done that, I've driven to the beach, had a walk around a surf shop, got myself a coffee, made two videos, watched some horses running in the sea, and now I'm on my way home. Wow. You, you know what? You miss all this with an electric car. Unbelievable. I know. I was sat on that beach watching these horses running in the sea, just thinking, I wish I was sat in McDonald's holding a coffee. Yeah, well, you know, originally, when it was horse and car, you would have seen a lot more horses and the people who had a horse and cart would have said them internal combustion engines will never catch on absolutely tell you what though but i've just done a little video where i've summarized and i ended up talking about all, all... oh i think i'm losing say so again yeah you, i lost you a bit there on the amazing just, 5g i was just saying i'm just summarizing some of these big road trips that we've done Pembrokeshire, best place we've been to. Beautiful, and there's less people. I love it. It's amazing. Oh, I've just had a text message off of Esso. Oh, yeah? Uh, your latest payment has been made. Oh, is that your December bonus? Yeah, I got mine earlier as well. Mine yeah. was 1.3. How much was yours? Oh, I got, uh, I got, oh, hang on, I'm just having a look. 2.6 million. Because you've been running your channel slightly longer than mine, so I'd imagine in a bit, my rate will go up as well. But yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely loving all this money we're getting from the oil industry. It's oh, brilliant, isn't it? Big oil, amazing. The, the amount of money that big oil are paying us is, is fantastic. It's great. Obviously, uh, I'm taking the mickey out of all the people that comment and say that we're paid by big oil. Wish we were. If Asso, Texaco, and whatever else there is out there uh, want to uh, 
send us some money. I think we're open to sponsorship. We are. We are. And I tell you what, the people who are commenting on our video is saying, I bet you're sponsored by Big Oil. They should be over on the Fully Charged show saying, I bet you're sponsored by the government, because that bit can actually be proven. Oh, well, well, I'm not getting into that, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come for us eventually. Anyway, I am Fully Charged. Uh, that Fully Charged show, that's that one with the guy that used to be on Top Gear before it got good. Yeah, he's got a big collection of classic cars. Oh, with petrol ones. Anyway, um, <laughs> onwards, my friends. Searching for something that ain't lost. Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time with stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better. I try to fix things. Understandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say, Do you feel the same way? Maybe you don't want to know, but you don't see what you have in front of you. Or maybe I'm not enough for you. So maybe I should go. If I had known from the start, this would. Jeff buys cars. Are you rolling? I'm, Are you moving? I'm rolling. I'm rolling on the. I'm rolling. I'm rolling, rolling. I am rolling. Where are you? I'm Carmarthen on my way to Swansea. Oh, you're ahead of me. Um, I'm ahead of you. Fair enough. Yeah, well, I took my time, I think. Um, I'm wearing Nick Carmarthen, I think. Oh, hang on. I've got my. my, my missus is ringing me. I'll ring you back. Bye. Bye bye. Jeff buys cars. Right. That was the missus. How are you? Are you uh, how, how much out of ten are you in the doghouse? Ten plus in the doghouse, right? Because she said, What time are you gonna get back? Right, her indoors, who doesn't like to be on camera. I said, Well, it says I'm gonna get to Mansfield at five past five. Right, so that's gonna be another hour and a half on top of that then to get back to Leeds. I said, Give me like 20 minutes in Mansfield to pick up my stuff, then I'll come up to Leeds. But I've got to charge up again. She went, You what? 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 I said, I've got to charge up again. Right, well, we're supposed to be going Christmas shopping to get all the Christmas food. You're leaving that all to me then, are you? I said, Well, no, I'm trying to get back, but I've got to charge up. She says, why don't you just get rid of that stupid car? And I was like, well, you know why I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So what time are you going to get here? And I said, realistically, round about eight o'clock. And she was like, right. So basically, I'm doing everything all myself. I said, well, I, you, I've just got, I've, it's the car. And she said, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. So basically, my dinner's going to be, well, I can have it warmed up. Look, luckily, we haven't got a dog, otherwise, to be in the dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your, your, your dinner's going to be in the dog. Yeah, so basically, if you have an electric car, you won't have a family. <laughs> you'll lose your family. You'll lose your wife. You'll lose your children. You'll lose your livelihood. You'll lose everything. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they don't tell you that when you when you sign up at the dealership, do they? No, and my missus, by the way, her indoors, shall we say, Sarah, she said she never lets the kids go in this car, right? They never go in this car. There's no car seat or anything. And the reason being is, and this is the truth, she said, it's a fire hazard. I don't want my children in the back of that thing. So you've got a car that your children can't go in that can't actually get you to your children. Uh, do you do? I can lend you a car for the weekend. It's not a problem. <laughs> a diesel one that you, I could fill up, go all around, and do my stuff, and then come back. Well, we've got Sarah's car, which is funnily enough a VW Golf diesel that we go everywhere in because when we go on long journeys, she doesn't trust this car not to spontaneously combust. So we go in a VW diesel that's 15, 16 year old, 
and does about 780 to 800 miles to a tank full of diesel. Well, can you do that then? Can you just go get her car and use that for the rest of your holiday? That's what I should be doing. So there you go. That's... I think that makes there's a video in that, isn't there? I swapped my electric car for an old diesel because it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. Absolutely mental. So, anyway, there you go. Moral of the story is, don't get an electric car. <laughs> I'm with you on the pod cabin. I've got a diesel, right? I've finished. I've designed my thumbnail. I've just sat in the back of my car and designed a thumbnail with my sunroof open in the sunshine. Now I'm going to fire up my big diesel and drive home with no problems. So, uh you enjoy the rest of your break, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, onwards, my friends. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. There you go. So, uh, I'm in the doghouse because uh, I've, I've wasted, basically, well, it's going to be an hour, 50 minutes charging back there, 50 minutes charging when I get to the next point before I get, because I, I've got to charge again to get to Mansfield. Then I'm going to have to charge again before I get to Leeds, so uh, there we go. It's going to be about well, five, 50 minutes there. So it's probably going to be about two and a half hours in total. Two hours, 40 minutes roughly, I would say, uh, with charging, etc. Wasted, uh, wasted time. So if you've got time on your hands and you like to waste time and you're not bothered about family, get an electric car. same way then don't pretend that everything's okay on the plus side however if you look at it on the positive side it has saved me from the dreaded christmas shop at aldi so there we go i can just waste time drinking coffee instead of going to aldi in all the chaos and the madness of the christmas shopping so there we go it has actually saved me time Now, I need a Wii, okay, but I'm holding it because I'm thinking, right, that's wasted time again if I go for a Wii and I don't charge. But if I charge, that's pointless because I've still got 73% of battery left and 162 miles of range. And it's 196 miles back to my first stop, which is Mansfield in Nottinghamshire. So I'm thinking I need to get another good 60 or 70 miles covered before I have a wee so I can charge at the same time as I'm having a wee then have a coffee which will make me want another wee again in a bit so it's kind of a catch-22 so I'm going to try and cover a bit more ground before I stop and have a wee but now I'm driving in uncomfort because I need a wee so it's a bit odd but anyway you know what I mean I need a wee but I'm not stopping yet because I want to stop when I can charge. There's, there's the thing. It messes your whole life up, this uh, charging things and electric cars. And what makes me laugh is, on a serious note is, there are certain car channels on YouTube that spout absolute garbage about electric cars. And it seems to me, and I may be wrong, that they have a hidden agenda to push electric cars onto people. And they don't like the fact that I'm speaking out, saying electric cars 
a rubbish in my opinion and my experience with an electric car over the two years nearly coming up to three soon that i've had with electric cars has been an absolute nightmare and i would not advise anyone unless you go into the shops to have an electric car then you might as well just have a bike or whatever it's just pointless these things are pointless absolutely pointless Jeff Blythe Cars got a bit of an issue here. Go on. Well, my missus rang again. Yeah. And she said, um, if you're not here by eight, and I went, listen, and I, I said, let me just let me just pause, just press pause. Don't worry about my dinner. I said, I'll get something on the way up. And she went, no. If you're not here by eight, don't bother coming back. Wow. So <laughs> that's put the pressure on a little bit because time of arrival to Mansfield, five past yeah. five. Now you're good at, at pie charts and organizing stuff, right? Five past five, ten, let's say 10 past five Mansfield arrival. But I've then got to charge again. So it's 172 miles. You're good at maths, right? And the people on yeah. who are watching this can work this out as well. It's 172 miles to my destination, to Mansfield. First destination, yeah. before I go to Leeds. I've got 141 miles of range left in the car. You're going to need to charge twice. Really? Not just once, then? Because I've got to get to... I've got to get to Leeds after I've been to Mansfield. Now Leeds is about 85 miles from from Mansfield to Leeds. So initial destination, Mansfield, stopover, 172 miles to Mansfield. Yeah. Then from there to Leeds. 172 and then one charge and then you're off to Leeds. Yeah, but I've only got 141 miles of range in at the moment, so I'm going to have to charge before I get to Mansfield. Will that one charge then get me all the way up to Leeds as well? Yeah, that's a bit big charge, but that's going to cost you 45 minutes. What's your current ETA then? Current ETA to Mansfield is, say, 10 past 5. So you turn it fine. Uh, why don't you... Um... Why don't you go to Malvern, leave your car there, take my 3 Series. <laughs> that would be easy. That would be the easy way out. But... I don't need... And you're welcome to it. <laughs> it would be the easy way out, actually. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to... going to save your relationship, then do it. I'm going to do this for the evangelists. I'm going to do it. I mean, and every time I've said I'm, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. And every time I've said I'm going to win before with you, uh, uh, I've lost, haven't I, actually? Yeah, I've lost. Well, think... yeah, you're either 3-0 down or 4-0 down, depending if you count the track day. Uh, I, I, for the sake of Christmas, right, for the spirit of Christmas, sack it off. Take my BMW. No, I, I can do it. I can do it. It's, it's giving me f five o'clock to get to Mansfield, right? That gives me three hours to play with, right? Three, yeah, okay. If you've got three hours to play with, um, but if you're in the if you're in the doghouse, as you said, if you're not here by eight, then don't bother coming back. Wouldn't it be nice to surprise her and be there by six? <laughs> it would, but I've I've got to do this for the I've got to do this. I've got to do this for the evangelists. Whereabouts are I now then? I'm coming into oh, coming up to Newport, past Cardiff. I'm making good progress, but I've just said to the viewers here, I need a wee, right? Dying for a wee now, but I can't stop for a wee because that's wasted time. That's time I could be charging, yeah. but I don't want to charge just yet. I need to charge when I can put enough charge in to get me to Leeds, which means I need to charge literally probably when I'm at 
50 miles or 40 miles of range left. And then I could probably do it in one charge then, couldn't I? Is there not a Porsche? Is there a Porsche that you could nip in to and charge at a Porsche? Good point, actually. If I find a Porsche... Tewkesbury or whatever, if I find a Porsche dealership, that Porsche charger will fully charge me in less than 20 minutes. Yeah, there's a big Porsche, there's a big Porsche at Tewkesbury off the motorway. Um, I don't know how close to that route, but it's, if that's the fastest place to charge, right. you that's find That could be an option. Right, stay there. Stay. I'm, I'm behind. You, you'll be behind. Yeah. Where are you? Twenty nine miles. Where are you? I'm at junction twenty eight. Uh, I don't know what junction I am, but yeah, I just see the sign that says Cardiff is twenty nine miles away. So you're behind me. Right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to win for the, for the evangelists. And every time I've said that, I've lost. So this time I need to win, or so I'll not just lose the game. I'll Lose my family and Christmas. That'd be, good, that'd be a good clickbait thumbnail, though, wouldn't it? My electric car cost me my Christmas and my family. <laughs> yes, it did. Onwards, my friends. I was out waiting for something, and if I close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time. For something And if I close my eyes It's all been a waste of time I was out driving every mile And now if I rewind It's all been a waste of time mm -hmm. It's all been a waste of time Right, I'm sorry, I've got to pull in or I'm going to wet myself, but right. the bonus with this one is it's a service station that I can just run in, toilets are there, and then I can get back on the road again. So I'll give you a quick update, or I'm going to go and wet myself. I'm going to wee myself, going to wee myself. So I've got still 121 miles of range left. Just pull up the car, I've got to go, I've got to go. I need a wee, need a wee. Uh, I've got 120, 100, it's 220, I've got 121, I've got to go. Milk float off. Right, back to the Magmobile and back on the road. Come on then. Oh, right, okay, milk float on. Come on, underway. 122 miles of range left, 54% of battery. I've got to get back or I'm going to lose everything. Wife, family, where are we going? Come along, there we go, where am I going here? Thanks. Uh, I need to get out of here. Okay, let me go through. Going through a petrol station, which is uh, ironic really, isn't it? If only. Right, let's get out of here. What have we got left to go? Come on, 147 miles left to go. How do you get out of these places? Uh, back on here. That's it, 122 miles of range, 147 miles to go. So, touch wood. We'll get there. We'll get to Leeds by eight o'clock. How do you get out of here? How do you get out of here? Exit. Where do you get out of these places? Right. I think that's owned by the same people who own Asda, isn't it? Right, let's go. I think that, come on, turn left. That's it, we're gone. Onwards, my friends.
what you're putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything England, 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 we're back in England, yes, back home in England, my friends, now only another 138 miles to my first destination until we go on to Leeds, right, come on, onwards, my friends. Electric Ford Mustang there, just gone by. That is appalling, that is. I've said it before. That's an embarrassment to a Ford Mustang. I mean, you look at the original Ford Mustang. Can you imagine? Oh, looking up at the... It's like, what is that? The original Ford Mustang, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. That thing, abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. Joe's Diner. That's an, I like that. It's like an old diner. I don't think you can see it. Joe's Diner at the side of the road. It's like something you see on the side of Route 66 in America. That it's brilliant. I love stuff like that. All boarded up, graffiti on it. It's great. Anyway, there we go. Changing the conversation. Ford Mustang. Why? It's not even a Ford Mustang. It's just, it's just horrible. I think I've. I've seen a toilet bowl the next morning after having a curry, right? A hot curry, Vindaloo, seen the toilet bowl, looks better, more, it looks more appealing than that Ford Mustang. There you go. Right, so the interesting thing is, this morning when I set off, um, Jeff went in, had a shower, shave, packed up, etc. Um, and he was about an hour and 10 to an hour and 15 minutes behind me. Let me have a take this car. Uh, behind me. And now he's just messaged me because I've gone through the traffic lights at Monmouth back there. And he's only about five to 10 minutes behind me. So he's caught me up. So that's how much time has been wasted charging cars so far. It's mad, isn't it? Absolute madness. He could actually catch me up. And eventually at the end, he'll obviously beat me because he's filled up with his diesel and he's, he's good to go. He's, he's got hundreds of miles in his tank. One of us. One of us. One of us. Oh, did you hear that then? As the Tesla went by. One of us. One of us. They're a clan, aren't they? They're a clan. This EV lot. They're all weird. They're all strange. Right. Although, there is another little... little there's a little thing here, right? Is it concept the word I'm looking for? There's a... There's a... There's a conspiracy. It's not really a conspiracy, actually. It's a... There's a... Let, what's the word I'm looking for? Tell me in the comment section. Anyway, people say, some say, that all the comments, the negative comments towards me, sticking up for electric cars, are just bots. They're not actually real people, a lot of them. It's actually put out because they're trying to... They've got an agenda. You know, the, the, the powers that be have an agenda to push electric cars, so they have bots going out going, actually you'll find the electric cars are brilliant, 
I love my electric car, it's fantastic. My, my electric car I've had for three years and it's working wonderfully and they're not actually real people. And the interesting thing is, I've clicked on some of these comments and you look it up and they go, uh, channel creators, and it's like yesterday or the same day. It's not actually been created for, you know, it's not, it's not got any history, there's no, there's no uh, movies on there, there's no content, there's nothing, no description. It's literally an account that's been set up literally the same day. So it makes you wonder, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not saying that's the truth. I'm just saying, in my opinion, I reckon it could be that. It could be just bots saying, yeah, electric cars are great because it's pushing it out there. You never know what to believe online these days. Anyway, Jeff is not far behind and uh, there's a possibility that he may catch me up. Right, I'm getting a little peckish now, I've got to say. Got no drink in my car, however, I have got the Snack of Gods Monster Munch. So, remember when Monster Munch used to be a really good snack? It used to have loads in it, didn't it? Lots and lots of Monster Munch in the bag. Now, you can kind of get ripped off because you've got Grab Bag, which is basically the normal size of bag that you used to get before we had shrink shrinkflation. Now, uh, you, the normal bag is just tiny and you have to have two of the bags to make up for one. There you go, look at that, monster munch. Fantastic. Mmm. And there's only one flavor to have with monster munch and that's pickled onion. Forget the other flavors, they pale into insignificance, the other flavors. Right, 73 miles of range, 32% of battery. I can get to these, I'm confident, I can do this. Although I was confident that I could beat Jeff, and that didn't work out very well. I've been feeling so small, watched the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go. Right, Monster Munch down, for dessert, dairy milk. Question for you here, right, again, Dairy milk or galaxy? Dairy milk or galaxy? Which is the best? Ah, a little chunk of dairy milk. I don't like to just chew it, I like to let it melt and push the chocolate up against the roof of my mouth and savour the chocolate. Mmm, absolutely gorgeous. Tell you what, when I was a kid, loved chocolate, never liked dark chocolate, Never liked Caramac. I think they've stopped making Caramac now. And my mum at Easter used to buy me Caramac Easter eggs and I used to hate them. But I didn't want to hurt her feelings. And I'd leave them and she'd go, why have you not eaten the Caramac eggs? And I'm like, oh, saving them till last because they're my favorite. Saving the best till last. And I'd get rid of them. I'd chuck them in the bin and hide them underneath all the rubbish. <laughs> Thirsty now. There's nothing, no water in my bottle. Cadbury World, actually. Do you see the, the sign for Cadbury World? Is that a sign that Cadbury's is better than Galaxy? Hmm. There we go. Anyway, back to driving. 55 miles of range, 25% of battery left. Um, 82 miles to Mansfield. So, 
I'm going to be 30 odd miles short. So, if I can try and get on the M1 uh, and try and charge up there, that might work. Not, I know there's a couple of services where the charges aren't fast, so I need a fast charger. That's what I need on the M1 somewhere or somewhere about there anyway. We'll find one. Um, the, the annoying thing is, when I get back to Mansfield, I have a charge point at the office there, and I can't use that because to charge it fully would take all night overnight, and I haven't got that. So uh, I think to have a fast charger at your house, you have to have your electrical power supply upgraded, uh, and I haven't done that, so uh, there we go. Right, come on, onwards, we're losing light now as well. Just overtaking a DPD van there that's advertising on the side of it that it's 100% electric. That's not a great advertisement for DPD. That means if you want to send something via DPD, make sure that you don't want it next day because it probably won't get there uh, in time because they'll end up charging up. I actually spoke to somebody up in Scotland on one of my travels uh, in one of my videos and the guy had got an electric van. They came from Milton Keynes all the way they were going up to Glasgow. And he said the amount of times that they had to stop, it, was, it took them an extra, I think it was three or four hours to actually get to where they were going. So they were being paid to stand around and wait around while their van charged. And he said the reason being is they were getting less miles out of their van because they'd loaded it so heavy with all the stuff that they needed, it was getting less range because obviously there's more weight on it. And it was, it, it, it basically does the range in because of the weight. So it doesn't make any sense, not just for cars, but especially also for commercial vehicles. Because with time's money for, for commercial vehicles, I value my time, obviously not with a, an electric car, but with a business, it's all about time and time is money. So if you've got electric cars or electric vans in your company, and electric cars as well if you've got sales reps, it's ridiculous, it ain't gonna work. Businesses are gonna be losing money. <laughs> the whole world is just gonna come to a stop and a standstill if we all have electric cars. It's madness, isn't it? Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fire. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Right, traffic jam. Got oh, this is not great now. I can see the time going backwards now. 12 minutes past five. I'm at 44 miles of range, 20% um, of battery left. I've got to get onto the M6. There's a queue, there's an accident. <sighs> Come on. What I need is a car following me with a diesel generator on the back of it. Faster car. Right, don't know whether you can see me, getting very dark now. Uh, please check range has just come on. 36 miles uh, of range left and I'm down to 15% of battery. So uh, I need to find somewhere to charge now. 
and uh, get charged up. We're just joining the M42, so hopefully I'll be able to find somewhere. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna... Right, well, the great thing is now it started to rain. So when I do find a charge point, I'm going to get absolutely soaked. Because obviously, as I've said before a million times, most of the charge points don't have a cover or a canopy over them. So you end up getting wet. And that's because we all know electricity and water work really well together, don't they? I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Can break me. Right now, I've got a bit of a dilemma. You probably can't see me. Um, I've pulled in at Tamworth Services to charge, but there's only one charge point and somebody's pulled into it. But I need a Wii, so I'm going to have to open up Zap Map and see where the rest of the charge points are. So let's just park up first. I don't know if you can see me. There we go. Uh, and get out. So come on, let's turn the milk float off. Right, so, wanted to charge, and there's only one charge point here. Um, and there's one, two, there's two cars waiting. Um, let's find out whether they're charging on this one here. Are you charging on this one? It's not working, mate. It's not working? I wouldn't read my card. All oh, right. Um, no, it's, oh, wow, it's out of order. Right, all right, thank you. Right, so one charger. He's pulled up, but it's not working, not reading his card. So no other charges here. That's a main services. That's insane. Toilet, and then we'll find another charger. Right, well, he's going and he said it's not working. I don't know whether to go and try it myself. I might go and try it myself, just, just in case. Right, it's a long shot, but it might work. Let's try it. Yeah. Let's just see if it'll actually fit in, actually. I'm trying to get this in. It's a bit tight. Let's try it. There we go. It's probably going to damage my paintwork. Right across there like that. Right, it says charger authorization successful. Your charging session will prepare. It might work, fingers crossed. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Preparing to charge. We're connecting to your vehicle. It's not ideal, it's probably going to damage my paintwork, but at least I can, it's not going to damage my relationship if I can get to Leeds. Come on, your charge is stopping. Isolation fault. Oh. So, so, what, so what's happened, sorry, you can't get this out. It says, I mean, it currently says that it's flashing. I don't know if that's actually charging or This not. is your cable? Yeah, it's our cable, yeah. And you can't pull it out? Well, you, I, I've, st I've, right, we stopped it. I've stopped it because it says to contact this to start, oh, that's charging now. That's All right, so it's, but, it's charging now. It's charging now, but the point's... Then it... It doesn't seem to... 
locks, locks your cable in then, has it? It's locked the cable in, yeah, but even after it it stopped charging and I took the cable out, it still seemed to be locked at the car end. Right. Which is a bit... You've, you've, un you've unlocked the car though, haven't you? Because uh, it locks the cable in if you've locked the car. Right. Um, so, well, the car's actually open now. Um, right, if it, it should be able to come get out. It should be able to. You could, should pull out of your car. Yeah. If, so, if the car's unlocked. Right. So if that's. Is that? Well, look, that's still charging, but it's not. It's not disconnected at the moment because it's. It says tap contact has stopped. Yeah, you try this. Well, you need to use the same card that you've already yeah, got. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Right, okay. yeah. So it's locked in. Oh, we can't see. Yes. It's a bit daunting. It's a bit daunting. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get. My, I'm trying to find the charge point, but it's not proving successful at the moment. Um, I don't know why that's. Doing that on a try and unplug this. Right, so that's interesting because uh, the people next to me there, the couple there, they've actually um, they can't get their cable out of their car. I've tried for them and it's locked their cable into it. This is not working. It's scratched my paintwork as well. I can see the marks on my paintwork where the cable went over to it. Then bless them, them that couple bless them, they're literally stuck with their cable in the car. And I've got to get a move on, so I can't really help them. We'll have to try and find a different charge point. So Come on, back on the road, my friends. Right, so, don't know whether you can hear me there. I've got 28 miles of range left, 11%, and I'm actually getting on the M42 North here. Uh, blimey, that's bright. Hang on one second. Good grief. One second. Right, so... I've got 28 Go straight on for 20 minutes. I've then. got 28 miles of range there uh, and 11% now. So I've got to find a charger. I've got to find a charge point. Um, this is this is bad. This is not good. When's the next services? Where are we? Uh, services here. There we go. Uh, no, not services. That's that's Burton. I may have to get off the motorway somewhere uh, and charge up. When's the next service? There's a sign here, here we go. Services and hopefully that's got a charger on it. Twen oh man, 21 miles. That's gonna take me down to two, three, four, five, five miles left. That's dangerous. Right, okay, now I'm taking a turn off here. That I, so I'm going out of my way now. Because After there's 250 yards, leave the roundabout at the fifth exit. There's Instavolt apparently, which is expensive, but please take the fifth exit. If I can get charged, it's a bonus. So let's find this Instavolt, and hopefully that's working. Because I'm now down to uh, 18 miles of range left. Please don't hit me up the backside, lorry. There we go. That's it. Try and break a bit sooner. Here we go. Right, fifth exit, and I need to find Instavolt. Um, come on, fifth exit. Where are we going here? Oh, I don't. Where are we going here? This where we're going here. What's Attention, it? limited access ahead. Limited access. Right. Okay. Where am I going the right way? Here? 150 yards. It says non-eaten. Turn to non-eaten. Is that right? Now turn off at the second on the left and then turn right. Oh no, no, I've gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong way. No, no, gone Prepare the wrong way. Prepare to turn sharp left. No, I'm going to turn around here. There we go. Oh man. This is wrong. This is just a nightmare. Attention, limited access. Okay, ahead. I know. I just want to get to the charge point. Okay, in here, come on. It's down here, isn't it? Please leave the roundabout at the first exit and then turn right. Okay. Okay, come on. Right, here we go. First exit, then turn right. Let's get out of here. 
okay into here and then turn right where is it services now turn right and then turn left now turn right okay i'm turning right where's the, where is it right here we go let's get in here now, now turn left into destination street right come on well there's a mcdonald's there and normally they are near a mcdonald's so it's got to be here somewhere insta vault insta -vault. they're all taken up i don't believe this no no you have reached your stopover right it looks like there's people waiting as well this is an absolute nightmare i just need to get to leeds for christmas where are you going you can't get in here can you so go around Turn the milk float off and go and find out what's going on. Are you waiting? Yes, I am, mate, yeah. Right, how many more is waiting? I don't know. The only one that I think might be waiting is that you've got to that looks like an electric car as well. Right, well, I'm, well I, don't, I don't know who they are. That's the only one that looks like an electric. I haven't spoken. All right, I, I'm, I'm pulling it here after you. You're after me, definitely. All right, Maggie. Hi. Are you waiting? I was, yeah. Are you waiting to charge? I was, You're yeah. waiting for this side? Either side. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, there's another one waiting over there. I'll, I'll pull here next to you, I think, or next to him or whatever. Yes. There's no other charger, is there? You're going to go to another yeah. one? Yeah. yeah, I think it's a nightmare. Right, well, I don't know what to do now because he's gone in there. The other lady's gone. There's two on there. There's another one waiting. I'm really down to 16 miles of range. The only other one is... Why is he moving? Why is he going? He's only just gone in. Oh no, he's reversing his car and he can't get the cable in. Um, the only other one is in a garden centre in a limited access in eight miles. Now, that's only 50 kilowatt. So if I go to that, that's going to take longer anyway. Do I just stay here and wait? But the problem is, he's getting into an argument on who is next. That's the issue. This is absolute madness. I'm going to get out and make my point that I am next. The only issue I've got now is it's 4.50. He's going to be at least 40 minutes. And I'm going to be late for Leeds. This is, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. I'm just looking at Zap Map, and the only other option is Osprey at Newton Regis Garden Centre. But the only problem with that is there's restrictions on it, and it's closed. You can't get in after five o'clock at night, so I can't go there, and all the rest are out of. Uh, <laughs> out of the distance that, I, that I've got in my car, in the range. They're out of range, so I've, I'm literally stuffed. Right, so he's done, by the looks of it. Poor lad in the back there has had to wait in the car uh, till, uh, till it's charged. Now I've got to get in there before somebody else does, otherwise there's gonna be an absolute fight on, on your hands here. And then the cable might not reach as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on do this let me get in there please that's it here we go brilliant okay and now i'm going to get as close as i can without scraping my alloys so i can get into this charger i'm going in the charger pipping me right now i'm hoping i'm hoping it actually reaches gonna have to go over the paintwork I'm literally gonna have to put that over the paintwork and try and plug it in all right sorry about the bad camera work but I'm gonna get this in there like that there we go
record acquisition come on that's not ideal is it they may need to make these cables longer <laughs> come on cord acquisition it's freezing come on please I'm cold come on I'm cold cord acquisition please wait Come on, please wait. Initial authorization, 45 pounds. Just take the money and charge the plumbing car. Approved, okay, right, now, come on. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on then. I want that charger. That's it. Come on then. Select a charge, please follow it. Let, I want that one. I want that one. I've plugged it in. Oh man, it is freezing. Connection timeout in 172 seconds. And they've put this in the wrong place because it's a nightmare to get in and out of here. That guy pipped me earlier on. It's not doing anything yet. Connection timeout. In 151. Time's running out. Come on. 148 seconds, 46 seconds. Ah, charging progress. Right. Oh man, what time are we on? Five past five. Um, and it's giving me 62.38 watts, 62.41 watts. Right, I'm gonna get back in the car where it's uh, warmer. This is ridiculous though, just look at that, cable over my bonnet. Right, back in the car, it uh, says it's ready to drive. Where are we going? Is it charging? Come on, it's now eight minutes past five. This is madness. I might nip into McDonald's and go for a wee or something while I'm here. This is this is absolute crazy. It's just this this is this is the reality of owning an electric car. Please do not buy an electric car. I'm pleading with you to not buy an electric car. Don't listen to the commercials. Don't listen to the adverts. It flowers it up and it makes it look lovely and nice and it's a nice sunny day and the kids are all smiling and they're all kicking footballs they all jump into the car and everything's fine they unplug it from the house and they go away into the distance into blue skies and it's not like that that's not the reality of it this is it waiting out of the way next to a mcdonald's right up against the curb in an awkward position taking ages to charge it's absolute madness it's a nightmare please don't this is driving me to tears right it's half past five and we're at 60 percent 140 140 miles of range 100 kilowatt being input in there um it's crazy i'm gonna nip to the toilet while i'm here at mcdonald's and then just see where we are but i'm gonna be pushing it to get to leads for eight six say if it's finished at six then get back for seven only leaves me an hour to get to leeds i need an hour and a half to get to leeds for eight oh this is going to be ridiculous it's going to be tight right i'm at 92 percent, 215 miles of range it's now what time are we on uh 10 to 6 I'm pushing it to get to Leeds now uh, for eight, but we should be, hopefully, fingers crossed, we should make it. I'm going to unplug this now and get back on the road. So come on. £65 that's cost so far. £65.48. That that's mental. Right, let's stop this. £65.68 absolute madness right waiting for it to stop we're at 93 percent that's absolute madness 65 pounds 90 now 
65 pounds 93 it's waiting to stop 66 pounds it keeps going up it's taking its time it's getting a few instavolt shame on you you're getting a few more pence off me 66 pounds 14 card acquisition it's still waiting for, to get through to my card oh, provider 66 pounds 22 26 and it's still counting come on and it's charging me while it's waiting to get in touch with my uh, credit card yes yeah, stop the session there we go stopping taking a moment of course it is still going to charge me while it's stopping and it's freezing now come on come on stop 66 pounds 44 right let's get this thing out right let's get this out it's obviously gonna scratch my paintwork get in there sit right that's it let's get back on the road and get back up to Leeds get to Mansfield and then Leeds right 94% of battery now we need to get up to Leeds uh, what have we got here here we go how long is it gonna get to Mansfield come on waiting for the computer system to turn on what's it doing what is it doing oh here we go right I'm gonna to get to Mansfield apparently at 6 47 I've got to be there about 10 minutes, so I've got an hour to get to Leeds. I'm not going to make it. 42 miles back to my... I've got to get on the road. Come on. I let, let you down And I know that I was not always around I made you feel, feel alone Spent most of your nights just sitting on your own I should have done so much more Like giving you the things you asked me for And I know I was wrong It's what I try to tell you with a song Tell you with a song What if I said I'm sorry what if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? You're all I'll ever need. Didn't I make you laugh? Didn't I make you smile? Didn't I make you feel like you were happy for a while? If I said I'm sorry, what if I'd make a scene? Right, okay, so back at Mansfield, uh, it's 6.50, 76% of battery, 170 miles of range, that's fine to get us to Leeds. Gonna get inside, pack, get what I need, and then get up to Leeds, uh, and hopefully I've still got a, uh, a partner and uh, a family. So I need to get a move on, see you in a minute. Right, okay, it's 7.34, I've got 172 miles of range, 76% of battery. I can't get my ways to work because Apple Play is not connecting, my phone's not connected to the car now. Uh, the car's got an issue. I've tried to reset it. I haven't got time to mess around. I'm going to get on the road and hopefully get there not much later than after half past eight. I have text sorry uh, to Sarah, but I haven't got a, I haven't got a message back, so uh, we shall see. Hopefully I won't get thrown out. Anyway, I'm going to get on my way. Uh, fingers crossed for me. This morning, I looked outside my window where children lighting up the Christmas tree. Right, so uh, Apple Maps, Apple CarPlay's not working, and my navigation system, my mapping system has gone off. Everything's basically gone off on my dashboard, other than my speed, which is good because I've got my speed but I haven't got anything else, so that's it. No radio, nothing. Absolutely dead, the whole system across. I think it needs a reset. 
I just haven't got time to reset the <laughs> the system because you have to leave the car off. You have to turn the car off, leave it off for like half an hour, then go back to it and it's reset the systems. It should work then, but I just haven't got time for that at the moment because I've got to get to Leeds. But you can't write it. Technology! Those winters we would spend just you and me. It's been such a long time. But tomorrow's Christmas Day. And I am on my way. I'm coming home for Christmas. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Right, so the speedos there, the rest of the computer system on board uh, is still not working. Um, I'm now at 50 mile an hour speed limit on the M1, um, coming up to Sheffield, because they're doing road works here. I think they're putting in um, safety laybys uh, on the smart motorways or something, so uh, because of this stupid idea of the smart motorways or something, with no hard shoulders, I think they're putting safety laybys on it uh, or something like that anyway. And also then, when we get to Meadow Hall, we've got to slow down to 60 for air quality. Even though I'm in an electric car, I've still got to slow down for air quality. Um, so there you go. I'm getting a bit stressed out, um, but hopefully we'll get there. What I might do is just pull in quickly for 10 minutes, reset the car, and try and get my systems back on again because everything's just gone off the dash so i don't know it's all a bit uh, bad enough today <laughs> bad enough if you're sitting by the fire and watch our favorite movies on tv we can do what we want to do walk under the moonlight and kiss under the stars it's gonna be like we never were Right, I'm going to pull in at these services here for 10 minutes to reset my car because, uh, as I say, the whole dash has gone off. I'm going to ring um, Sarah and just say I'm going to be a little bit late. It's now 8.34. Um, hopefully she'll be fine. She did say don't bother coming if it's past 8, but I should be all right uh, if I can... Uh, well, I'm just tired. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'll give her a call in a minute. <laughs> just need to pull over. It's been a, one hell of a day. Um, I'm absolutely shattered. I just want to get back, have my dinner, which apparently is on a plate. And uh, why is it beeping at me? And um, and just call it a day. Don't get any, please don't get an electric car. I don't want you to go through all this. There are a load of charges over there. There's only one car on it. Why don't they put more of them in Tamworth? There needs a load more charges going there. There needs to be loads more charges on the way up. That's crazy. Right, I'm going to leave the car for 10 minutes, go and ring Sarah, and then get back on the road again. I'm absolutely shattered. This has been an absolute nightmare. Right, okay, so the mapping system's come back on. My phone won't connect. I'm just going to get on the road. I'm going to get on the road and get there. Uh, I managed to get through to Sarah. She said, uh, dinner's in the microwave. I've got, uh, what have I got? I can't think what I've got actually got now. I'm so tired. Um, what have I got? Uh, anyway, I don't, some, I don't know. I've got to get on the road. Right, I'll see you. Uh, let's go. Come on, onwards. Look at all them charges there. Huh. That's taking the mickey, that is. Although it is later on now, and uh, everybody will be at home, other than me. 
Here we go. Right, I think I've got stew or something anyway. Can't remember what I've got. Stew, I think. Right, let's get let's get gone. It is 8.58. Onwards, my friends. Chili. That's what I've got. Chili con carne. Warmed up chili con carne in the slow cooker. I'll have to warm it up in the microwave when I get back. It's on a plate. Coming home for Christmas. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Oh, how much I missed you. Wanna spend this day with you. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Right, I've made it to Leeds. 9.30. How many hours was that? I think it was about... What time did I set off? That's got to be about 11 hours, does it, or something? Pop it in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm absolutely shattered. Uh, if you've got all the way to the end of the journey, thank you for watching. Um, my advice would be don't buy an electric car or an EV. I keep doing these videos to show you the actual reality of owning an electric car because other people don't seem to show you that reality. So there you go. The reality is an absolute nightmare. Um, anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Please do me a favour. Do hit the subscribe button. Uh, do share it on social media. Push the message out there. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I've got to go. I've got ulcers in my, on my tongue because I'm tired and stressed and in the back of my throat. And I just need to, to rest. Thank you for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.